Uh, let's see what's uh, in the news today. How white women use strategic tears to silence their betters. Seven awful ways liberal white women fetishize women of color. Dear white women, please stop calling the cops on black people. Dear white women, let's make 2018 the year we finally unlearn our racism. I am tired of watching brown men fall in love with white women on screen. Working with white women is the bane of my existence. Get Out perfectly captures the terrifying truth about white women. Resenting white women is exhausting. White women drives me crazy. White women, stop pretending we don't benefit from white supremacy. White women, please don't expect me to wipe away your tears. Why Hillary Clinton was right about white women and their husbands. White feminism fails minorities. Why Clinton lost and we didn't expect it. White women own up to it. You're the reason Hillary Clinton lost. White women voted Trump. Now what? White women sold out the sisterhood and the world by voting Trump. It's time for white women to do better. How white women fears threaten black existence. When white... Wait, wait, wait. What? How white women fears threaten black existence. You know, this this is how Africa was colonized. It is known, Khaleesi. We we the British Empire didn't send soldiers there. They sent weeping ladies, and it and it actually threatened the black existence. Who wrote this? Sh when white women cry, how white women tears oppress women of color. White women are so dangerous because they're allowed to be soft, innocent until proven innocent. White women fucking us over. Black voices, white women's tears, and the civil war in classical Hollywood. About the weary weaponizing of white women tears. White women tears. Cambridge has a problem with selective forgiveness. Can black women and white women truly be friends? Gorgeous white women fucking black men. I, I guess that kind of answers the first question. You see, you see what I did there? You see, you see. What's wrong with white women voters? Here's the problem with that. The trouble with white women by Duke University Press News. How long will white women continue to vote Republican? The Alabama election shows exactly why feminism in 2018 can't just be about white women. White women tears. Wilfred Laurel, critical theory, when white women cry. How white women tears oppress women of color. Planned Parenthood president urges white women to do better. I'm uh, gonna stop here because I know a lot of my subscribers, a lot of you guys are white. And uh, I, I don't like reading feminists talking shit about your mothers. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not one of my pastime activities. Um, it's not because I ran out of content, by the way. Okay, like I, I, I could definitely go on. Uh, but I think people got the point, um, and if it, it is boring after a while, right? And uh, also, it's a little tedious to video editing. Like, do, do you know how, how difficult it is to move these pictures and to synchronize it with your horrible, horrible uh, first world problems? V sits at the computer, tells you how horrible his job is. Meanwhile, some of you guys are builders. You go up, you put bricks. You lay shit down and and then you hear a YouTuber complain about his tedious job. I I, I know. Um, let's see how uh, some of the progressive women uh, t uh, took the took this issue. So uh, there there is this tweet which compiles uh, only half of these articles. I I also gathered a lot more uh, to show you guys. 
And uh, we have this uh, lady over here. Uh, we we really are, aren't we? Punish me, Masa. Punish me. I, I have been naughty. Well, actually, it's punish me. My ancestors have been naughty, and therefore I am naughty. Give, give me punishment. But the, the, the most interesting one is uh, this lady. Long story long. Um, hi, white woman here. Very, very important to, you know, st state the gender and race. <laughs> maybe, maybe in a future progressive world, you know, you're going to be stopped on the street. It'll be like race and gender. And, and they put a flashlight on your head, you know. Um, I'm totally be cool with being called on our collective bullshit. Now you have this uh, lady over here who doesn't agree, Cookie, right? Cookie, Cookie, Cookie. Uh, collective, let me out of your self-hate. If you are neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of oppressor. Probably a communist. And this this is my lack of... I, I don't know. I don't care who Desmond Tutu is. It's, I, I, it's too much. Listen, you bitch. Yesterday, I was constipated. Okay? I couldn't take a shit. Were you proud of the solution? What? what no? No, oh, oh, there we go. There you go. Do you, do you see how long story long constipated me? See, uh, this this brilliant, amazing train of logic. I, I really like it. It's usually some of the more radical activists, uh, they employ it. So uh, this is going to be the part one of the video, right? Because I want to keep it short. I'll keep it under uh, 10 minutes. I'll try at least. don't know how it turns out. Can't see the future, but... Um, Maybe maybe I'll read some of these articles uh, tomorrow. Yeah, maybe maybe go through some of them. I I read some of them. They're they're absolutely hilarious. They're just. Uh, I I have enough material here to run a YouTube channel for two more years. You know, like just just reading this garbage. It's just that I I try to not go for the low hanging fruit. However. It has gotten to a point where I'm, I'm noticing a little pattern, right? So why is the progressive media attacking women? Um, they're trying to push identity politics on women, right? Now, there, there is a difference between identity politics and issue politics. Issue politics picks a certain issue and we talk about the issue, right? So, for instance, taxation. Should we tax people based on their income? Like, should rich pay more? Or should we have a flat tax, right? This is what we called issue politics. Now, identity politics is based around the fact, okay, you're a black man, therefore you are going to be poor, and therefore you need to have this type of politics. So that that, that is identity politics. Like, it, it's based on how you're born, right? Things that you really can't have control over. And if you're in this identity, you need to think this way. Or else you're a problem. And they're trying to do this for women, right? They're trying to push identity politics on women. Like, if you're a woman, you're part of the sisterhood. Uh, and everything you you do needs to be done for the sisterhood. Uh, very convenient. Because uh, you, you, you will have a person that steps up, right? No one elected them. I speak for the blacks. You know, and, and everyone is like, oh, tell me what the black people want. Uh, reparations. You know, and, and even though they didn't make a poll... They didn't consult with people. They didn't. They didn't talk it through, right? All of a sudden, we're all on board that every single black person wants reparation. And if you're a black person like Kenya who doesn't want reparations, well, he's a problem. He's not really black. He's not really black, right? So this is how identity politics work. Now you have a lot of women that didn't go along with this bullshit. So when the elections came, they they didn't vote like a proper woman. Okay, they didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. And they had to vote for Hillary Clinton because Hillary Clinton is a woman as well. Identity politics, one-on-one, -on -one, right? You vote for... Um, and now we have a problem, right? So, so Some women went off the plantation. So this is why you will constantly... Like from that moment forward, if you look into the media, you will see that the articles start popping up. You will see that in university, professors are popping up the same type of articles with white women tears and blah, blah, blah. Uh, the, the white women tears, as far as I know, there's an article that talks about it. I'll talk about it tomorrow. It's uh, basically a, a black woman, you know, like pushing this anti-white woman ideology. And a white woman in the audience was upset. And the black woman was absolutely devastated. And uh, 
She's like, oh, the tears, yeah, the tears. And from that point, you, you get to see like a swap of articles with white women tears popping up. And that's uh, that's the explanation. So uh, this this is why the phenomenon is happening. Uh, seems that certain white ladies are, are okay with it. Uh, and for the ladies that aren't okay with it, uh, there's always my channel. Welcome to my channel. You know, uh, also, also, as, as a white man, Okay, as, as a straight white man who has seen uh, this shit on the media, uh, similar titles bombarded against white men uh, for two years now. So as a, as a representative of the white men, I have to say to you white ladies, tag, you're it. <laughs>